apply the end of the bandage to the part of the body to be bandaged. Encircle the body part a few times or as needed, each turn directly covering the previous turn. Secure the end of the bandage with tape, metal clips, or a safety pin over an, an injured area. Make two circular turns to begin the bandage. Continue spiral turns at about 30 degree angle, each turn overlapping the preceding one by two-thirds the width of the bandage. Terminate the bandage with two circular turns and secure the end as described for circular turns. Begin the bandage with two circular turns and bring the bandage upward at about a 30 degree angle. Place the thumb of the free hand on the upper edge of the bandage. The thumb will hold the bandage while it is folded on itself. Continue the bandage around the limb, overlapping each previous turn by two-thirds the width of the bandage. Make each bandage turn at the same position on the limb so that the turns of the bandage will be aligned. Terminate the bandage with two circular turns and secure the end as described for circular turns. Using a roller bandage, roll the bandage on the anchoring side first. Anchoring for wound on top of the head, side of the head, ears, cheek or chin. Anchoring is around forehead and back of head. The first loose end should be left untucked. Ask the victim or another rescuer to hold the first loose end. Roll the bandage in two rounds around the forehead and back of the head. Then cross the bandage on the first loose end. Continue by bandaging on the pressure pad on top of the head and through the chin. Finish up the roller bandage followed by tying the end of the roller bandage together with the first end. Using the triangular bandage, fold the narrow bandage, bandage through the chin and on top of the head. Cross to either the left or right side of the head. Bandage across the forehead and back of the head. Tie a knot to the crossing on the other side. Begin the bandage with two circular turns. Carry the bandage above the joint, around it, and then below it, making a figure 8. Continue above and below the joint, overlapping the previous turn by two-thirds the width of the bandage. Terminate the bandage above the joint with two circular turns and secure the end appropriately.
Begin the bandage with two circular turns. Carry the bandage above the joint, around it, and then below it. Making a figure 8 continue above and below the joint. Overlapping the previous turn by two turns to width of the bandage.